Hello everybody, welcome back to a new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Today we're going to take a look at a 30 card deck using rocks. So, this deck right here is really cool because we're going to be using one of the newest cards from the card trader shop, that grass looks greener. This card came like last week and this card is really cool. So what this card does is that, as we can read the text right here, if you have more cards in your deck than your opponent does, send cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard so that you have the same number of cards in the deck as your opponent. Basically what this does is that if I have 30 cards in my deck and my opponent only has 20 cards in their deck, once I play that grass looks greener, I send cards from my main deck to the graveyard until I have an equal amount of cards as my opponent's main deck. So then I would essentially mill 10 cards from my deck so I can equal my opponent's main deck. What's really nice about this card is that it opens up a lot of new possibilities with cards that you want to use the graveyard as an extra tool to their advantage so you can win the duel. And the first deck that I wanted to build is Rocks, aka Magnets. So basically how this deck works is that when we use that Grass Looks Greener, we're going to want to send our Rock Monsters to the graveyard so then we can special summon our Rock Boss Monsters like Gaia Plate the Earth Giant or Valkyrie and the Magnet Warrior. How we do that is that with Gaia Plate the Earth Giant to special summon this card from our hand is that if we have two rock monsters in our graveyard and we send them to the banish zone we are able to then special summon Gaia Plate the Earth Giant from our hand which is really awesome so when you turn one go for that grass looks greener play and you have Gaia Plate the Earth Giant in your hand you're basically you're getting a free way to summon your Gaia Plate the Earth Giant really quickly second thing about Gaia the Earth Giant is the fact that on each of your standby phases if you want to keep this guy on the field you need to have more rock monsters in your graveyard and you need to banish another rock monster from your graveyard to the banish zone to keep this guy on the field. So what's really nice is that hopefully you basically only mill rock monsters with that grass looks greener to go in for the optimal plays. Another way to get a different boss monster on the field is that we have this one called Valkyrie and the Magnet Warrior. Now its text states that you need to tribute an Alpha the Magnet Warrior, Gamma the Magnet Warrior, or a Beta the Magnet Warrior from your hand or field a special summon this. But if we use the effect of Delta the Magnet Warrior, which is why we have this card in our deck, if we use the effect of this guy right here, if he's sent to the graveyard, while you have three rock monsters, not three rock monsters, three magnet warrior monsters in your graveyard, if that's the case, when this guy is sent to the graveyard, you're able to special summon Valkyrie and the magnet warrior by banishing those three magnet warriors from your graveyard to the banish zone. It's a really nice combo right there, and you're basically getting a free Valkyrie and the Magnet Warrior pretty much just by using that Grass Looks Greener. Now, there's a couple times where you will mill three Rock Monsters or three Magnet Monsters that are four or lower, like, you know, Gamma, Alpha, and Beta. There's scenarios where that does happen and you didn't send any Deltas from your uh, deck to the graveyard to special summon this boss monster. On the bright side, if you did start off with that Grass Looks Greener and also Delta the Magnet Warrior, you can summon Delta the Magnet Warrior to also send another Delta Magnet Warrior from your deck to the graveyard to then special summon Valkyrie and the Magnet Warrior. There's a lot of really cool plays and possibilities with this deck and you can honestly pop off pretty quick. Now we're gonna get onto the Spell and Trap. So of course we're gonna be running three copies of that Grass Looks Greener. That's the main engine of this deck and that's why I'm doing a deck showcase on rocks yet again. We are running three copies of Anti-Magic Arrows to just stop Spell and Traps because dang, those are pretty annoying and there's a lot of annoying traps in today's meta. So Anti-Magic Arrows definitely helps for going in for the OTKs. We're also running two copies of Attack of the Moon. If a rock monster's position gets switched or as the card says, gets changed, you can target one Spell and Trap your opponent controls to destroy a target. Very nice right there. This card's pretty useful, especially when we combo in with some of these interesting traps that specifically help out rocks. So one, we got Triamid Pulse. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyways, what this card does is that it says once per turn, you can banish two cards from your graveyard, any combination of rock type monsters or field spell cards, then activate one of these effects. So we got three effects right here, but we're only going to worry about two of them. One of the effects we can do is that if we banish two of our rock monsters, we can target one other face of card on the field and destroy it. That is extremely useful because like I said, when you play that grass looks greener, you're milling a bunch of your rocks and you can just banish two of those boys to pop one card on the field that's or just a face up card on the field so that could be a face up spell and trap or a field spell or most likely what we're going to use this for is for monsters other effect that we got right here is target one rock monster in your graveyard special summon it in defense position really nice right there too because we can bring back our gaia plate we can bring back our 
What else? We can just bring back any of our rocks besides Valkyrie and the Magnet Warrior, which is just super nice right there. Last effect that we're not going to worry about. I guess you could pause the video if you want to read up on the effect, but we can't use that at last effect with here, so we're not going to worry about it. Also, it's kind of meh. Now, another thing that's really nice about banishing these rocks is that we also have a card called Release of From Stone. This is a continuous trap also, where we select one of our removed from play rock monsters, special summon it. When this card's removed from the field, destroy that monster. When that monster is destroyed, destroy this card. So we could banish, like, our guy plates we could banish any of our other level four lower magnet warrior monsters that are also rocks and we can special summon them back so it's like a cycle basically it's like rinse and repeat we banish cards with try and appear pause pulse and then we also play release of the stone to then bring them back so it's a really fun combo the both of these uh continuous traps work really well together and also you can keep using the effect of try mid pulse multiple times it's a really cool card and i really like to mess around with that we're also running one copy of mirror wall and one copy of wall disruption because you know scenarios happen and our magnets are kind of weak and we don't always have our boss monsters on the field so that is kind of it for this deck showcase we're going to be running restart for our skill now one card i do want to mention that i want to brush up upon is that during the card flip campaign that's happening right now uh if we go to this real quick one of the cards that's super interesting that really wants me to showcase this deck again sometime in the future is tackle crusader this is a four star earth rock with the effect if this card sends to the graveyard you can activate one of these effects target one monster opponent controls change it to face down defense position or we could tar or the other effect we could target one face up spell or trap card that your opponent controls return that target to the hand this turn your opponent cannot activate cards with the same name as the card returned to the hand as a fact so considering this is a rock monster when you're playing that grass looks greener and you potentially send tackle crusader to the graveyard because it's a rock monster it'll synergize with a rock deck we can play one of these effects to extreme like just surprise our opponent also if it is destroyed from the field sent to the graveyard or discarded you can still pop the effect too this card is actually really cool and it works really well with this deck um honestly yeah so i really want to make another video on the deck because i haven't got tackle crusader yet but yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun hope you guys enjoy these um upcoming dual replays i'm gonna have some music in the background for you guys to listen to to relax and all that good stuff if you guys are enjoying the video or you know by the time you finish this video and you enjoyed it be sure to smash the like button down below it's got the channel for more dual links content rank pvp stuff like this at some point i will do a full commentary rank pvp video again it's just that i don't really have a lot of time to do like a 30 minute recording of ring pvp and sit down at once but yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's video enjoy the duels